What's going on everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of what I think is the 2015 Moto E that Motorola just announced. Uh, it looks a little different than most boxes, fragile breaking news, slide to start. Uh, what this supposedly is, is a virtual press conference. Uh, we are right on the dawn of Mobile World Congress and Motorola said they didn't want to have people have to attend another press conference for another phone. So they wanted to bring the press conference to us. So go ahead and slide that off. There is the new Moto E. It looks like there are already flaps starting to open up on this thing. Let's see. I've got my, uh, my press badge uh, right here. John Rettinger, Moto E. That's kind of cool. Uh, push that off to the side and see what else we got on top. Welcome to the Moto E press conference. Today we're doing something different. You've probably uh, been to enough press events. Grab your badge, let's get started. And go to startwithmotoe.com to begin your event. Then come back here to collect your review unit. We hope you enjoy the show. So go ahead and open this sucker up. And this does look like a press conference. You usually go to a welcome desk and you uh, sign up and get your badge and they got a tables all set up. Continue to open it up. <laughs> that is really cool actually. Uh, and this is our virtual press conference. You can go ahead and uh, have a seat. Start with Moto E. I can pull this out. Look at that. And uh, we're greeted by a, a teeny tiny Rick Osterloh, who is a president and CEO of Motorola Mobility. It's kind of neat. And then inside, I think is the reason that everybody's here. Uh, this is the new Moto E. So all this uh, virtual press conference and stuff aside, we'll push all that off. Let's take a look at the phone. Uh, give Motorola credit for trying something uh, new and different. All right, we're gonna keep Mr. Osterloh here, so I feel like I'm really at a press conference. And what we've got here is the 2015 Moto E. Uh, this is a pretty sweet little phone for a not a lot of cash. Go ahead and pull off this plastic. Got it, ha <laughs> ha, boom. All right, so that took longer than I want to admit. We'll go ahead and pull that plastic off, see if we can power the sucker on, and I will tell you what this 4.5 inch screen phone can do. So first, let's get the big news out of the way. Uh, it's available today, starting at 119 bucks for 3G, but the big story is that it is now available with LTE for 149 bucks. Uh, 4.5 inch screen, the resolution of 540 uh, by 960, it's a 245 PPI. Uh, it is coming with Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's being powered by a Snapdragon 410, it's 1.2 gigahertz if you get the LTE version. If you get the 3G version, it's going to be powered down a little bit uh, and be a Snapdragon 200, but still at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, it's got eight gigs of internal storage, but you can't expand that with a micro SD card slot. It's got a pretty nice size 2,390 million power battery. On the back, you've got a five megapixel camera that can shoot 720p video, 30 frames per second. Little VGA camera uh, right there on the front. Uh, essentially, there are three different versions of the 2015 Moto E. There's a US GSM, uh, LTE US GSM, and Global GSM. Uh, the LTE versions have support different bands where you get the US International, so be sure to check to make sure you are getting the right one. Uh, this phone looks really nice for an incredible price point. Uh, this is a great deal if you just want to get a phone that's going to be able to make phone calls, browse the web, and check emails, uh, and not set you back a lot of cash. A lot of people picked up the last gen phone. It's almost used like a media player. A really inexpensive media player they could take with them if they were traveling and pop it a SIM card to make phone calls with. This is a full featured phone. I know the screen resolution is not very high, but it looks pretty nice just doing normal stuff that you would do with a phone. Um, quick tour, nothing on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you've got your power button and your volume up and down. The power button does have some texture on it, uh, which I really like. Overall, a really nice looking phone from uh, Motorola and for that $149 price point, it's really tough to beat. If you're traveling again, you want an international phone, this can be a great one to pick up or you just want an inexpensive Android device that can do whatever you need to. Uh, this is gonna be a really solid uh, option for you. Uh, anyway guys, love to hear your thoughts on it, what you think about the Moto E. Give thumbs up for uh, some nice low cost devices, love to hear your thoughts on it. Until next time, I am John Renger from Techno Buffalo and Mr. Osterloh and I are gonna go play with this device.